What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be doing a quick makeup look today. Um, basically doing my whole face, my eyes, my skin. So yeah, that's basically my whole face. And then I did go ahead and apply primer. The primer that I use is this e.l.f. Hydrating Face Primer. I really like it because um, it's pretty portable and it gets the job done. It really hydrates and I, my pores are really bad today. I'm breaking out as well. It really blurs everything and for how cheap it is, it's really not bad. So I'm going to be using my Naked Urban Decay Heat palette. I got this like three years ago and I honestly lost it and I haven't used it in forever. I really like all the colors in here. They're really warm. That's kind of the vibe that I'm going for today. I'm going to go ahead and start with Low Blow. It's going to be this color right here. I'm going to go ahead and just go over my entire lid. Just really blending it in, going up and into my crease. Now I have really small eyelids. I don't know why this is really weird. Um, if you look at my previous pictures, like when I was like 22, 21, um, my eyelids were actually pretty like, they were like that. And I don't know if it's because of like age, but my eyelids have slowly been getting smaller. So kind of a weird thing about me. So I'm just gonna pretend like I still have that crease and my crease would usually be a little bit above my now eyelid. So I'm gonna go like a little bit above that and just really blend it in, add a little bit of pressure, really make sure that product is in there and really just blend it all out. I like to go a little into this divot that I have here into the side of my nose. I feel like it adds a lot of definition. So I'm basically contouring my eye contouring my eyes and I just like adding depth to my eyes if that makes sense it's just always the look I've gone for I've never really done the Korean type of beauty or the typical Japanese type of beauty I've always been inspired by gyaru makeup which if you guys are not aware of gyaru makeup it um, is a Japanese style it's actually a Japanese lifestyle of makeup um it's really all about like bleaching your hair, wearing over dramatic eye colors, you know, wearing the huge crazy fake eyelashes, wearing the big fake colored contacts, um, even wearing the fake eyelashes down here, contouring your face, trying to make it as small as possible. I've always been obsessed with the Gyaru makeup ever since I was like 10 years old growing up. My dad would buy me Egg magazine in Japan, which is the Gyaru magazine. There's so many different kinds of subcultures in Japan where almost every subculture or like fashion type or lifestyle type, if that makes sense, they all have their own magazine. Egg was my favorite. If you guys are ever interested in what Gyaru is, just go ahead and like do your research and like kind of look it up. It's really interesting. But basically that's where all my makeup has been inspired from. And then obviously moving to the States when I was younger, growing up in America, I obviously adapted some more American style makeup okay um and then i don't even know what i'm doing today like honestly i really don't know i just always start out with that base because it kind of gives me comfort knowing that like i've contoured my eyes i'm just gonna do a really natural natural um eye look today so i'm gonna be still using the same palette the naked heat i'm gonna go in right here to this maroon color in fuego I'm going to go in on my crease. Now, when I say I go in on my crease, I'm used to going a little bit higher. So my crease would be like right here, but I want to bring it up so that it adds more definition higher up and it kind of gives myself an eye lift. I'm going to go start in the middle and then I'm going to go ahead and just windshield wipe as I'm and blend. I feel like the longer you do makeup, you kind of just start to know your face and your features and get more comfortable with it. So, you know, makeup takes a lot of practice and I am not perfect by any means. So I'm just deepening this crease, really adding on the color, really making it nice and dark. I'm going to use this brush next. It is the Japanese 725. And I'm going to be using this Ashes, which is a um, dark purple. Oh, I'm trying to <laughs> show you guys. I'm going to go into my same area where I just went in right there, right above my actual crease. And I'm gonna just go ahead and blend it in. We'll chill, wipe it. And don't be afraid to really um, kind of get a little 
messy with this. I mean, you want to make sure that you're staying in your crease, really blending it out. But as you can see, they're not perfect. Like this, uh, this is what I'm kind of going for. And then this, I went a little too in, but don't worry. With makeup, you can always fix it. Next, use this ember color, which is really pretty. I'm just going to go ahead and take my finger because I like these pre... Ooh, look at how pretty that is. So I'm just going to go ahead and go in the center of my lid and press it on gently. Oh, yeah. See how sparkly that is? Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and continue adding the product on carefully really just getting it in the center of my lid when you're doing this what i like to do is i like to press on the product at first and then i like to slowly blend it out just like gently yeah, because you don't want to ruin what you've already beautifully made always start with a little you can always add more later it looks nice it looks like i've created definition there's a pop of sparkle but still really natural it's not too crazy and i've only used three colors or four I'm going to be using the Stilla Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. I literally haven't even opened this. It's brand new. And I'm super excited because I love opening brand new stuff. But it looks like, boom. I don't know why I just smelled that. Oh, it does kind of smell like a Sharpie. Okay, I'm done being a crackhead. This is your time to really focus. Wing eyeliner, if you mess it up, it's a little harder to fix. So I'm going to be real concentrated here. Okay, so I like to start out right here and just start in the corner of my eye and do a nice, uh, it's all crooked, but it's okay. We can fix that. So I like to drag it all the way down. Can't really see this part. And then connect it to my lash line. So it kind of gives me that guide. And then you're gonna fill it in. And then I like to go and connect it all the way. Then I don't really like how stubby that is. So I'm gonna try my best. Watch me mess this up. But I got faith in myself today. And I'm gonna go and gently lengthen it. Ooh, I like. As you can see, I get a lot of fallout on my lashes, the lashes that I do have, which are very tiny. So I'm gonna use my Too Faced Little Mini Better Than Sex Mascara. I'm just gonna go ahead and do a light coat. I've been doing this lately because I feel like it just blends my lashes a little better into my fake lashes. This helps my anxiety a little. I don't know if that makes sense. It just comforts me knowing that my lashes are blended. Kind of looks like I'm naked now. I realize like if I'm like this. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and apply these bad boys real quick. Ooh, I hate when you're just trying to get the perfect amount, oh my God, of um, lash glue and it just like squirts out at you. It's like, what it, I did not want that to happen. Like, how dare you? And make sure you get all the glue off from the night before, the day before, cause you don't want to look crusty. So now for the lash application. I mean, look at how dramatic these are. They're, they're dramatic, I'll tell you. They are dramatic. I like to hold on to them until I know that they're like set. But if you wear fake eyelashes, always, always, always bring lash glue with you. One time I went to a strip club and my eyelash was falling off and I was like, oh my God, I don't have lash glue. Like the one time I didn't bring lash glue. And it was so funny. I was there with a bunch of friends and I didn't really even know any of the strippers there because we were at this new strip club. And this stripper overheard me and comes running out. She's like, girl, I got you. Here's my lash glue. You can keep it. And I was like, oh, you are so sweet. I love girls like that. Like, you know, like she doesn't even know me. And she came through for my lashes. I'm going to be using two different foundations. It is the Healthy Foundation by Physicians Formula. I really like this because it has this applicator wand. So you can actually choose where you want to put it and in my case i just slide it all over my face and this is a pretty i mean i would say it's a medium coverage depending on how especially depending on how much you put on but i do like it because it's supposed to make your skin healthier it's supposed to give it that glow as well and overall it's just supposed to be good for your skin that's what it says i like to put on a lot and i'll show you why whenever i'm using different applicators so with that being said, I'm going to use my handy dandy cute little mermaid tart brush 
and I like to use this and dab this in. And when you do this, it um, kind of picks up more product. So it's okay if you put on more product versus a beauty blender. Make sure you really dab it in gently blending all over, even down into your underneath. It's very important. I don't ever put foundation on my nose directly. What I do, um, because I always contour or add concealer and I just don't want to overload it and look cakey on my nose. So what I'll do is I will use the excess and kind of just gently dab it on there. So once that's all blended, I like to go ahead and go in with my concealer. I'm using the Double Duty Beauty um, Tarte Shape Tape. I really like this because it's creamy, it's full coverage. And I will just go under to cover my huge, crazy bags. And a little goes a long way. Cover any blemishes, do a little bit on my nose. I'm gonna be using the same brush to go ahead and dab it out. The excess for my chin, if it's too much, I'll put it right here. So I'm getting a really glowy look right now. I'm gonna be using the Healthy Foundation, the lighter shade. Before I was using this shade for my foundation and then I'm using this really light shade. Um, not sure what it is, but I'll put all the links below. So this is what I used to contour and I will put a little bit on my nose. And then I will go ahead and get it up in the corner right there. Oops. And this is what I use to conceal. I like to do a go in on my nose a little so that it starts to create that contour. Put a little bit of my lip, because why not? Let's brighten up that upper lip. And then with a wet beauty blender, I use a little mini one for my uh, under eyes and stuff. I'll just go in really lightly and tap. And then right here, just the same thing, go ahead and tap it up. The excess I'll put down here and I'll highlight my chin. So I don't always put concealer everywhere at, or, um, contour or whatever you know i don't put it everywhere at first because sometimes i'll accidentally put on too much and i like to just balance it out and i'll add it onto other parts of my face for example right here i'm going to start putting a little bit up here in between my eyebrows kind of venturing off in a circle just in the middle part of my head middle part of my forehead i mean let me make sure it's all blended that is the most important thing my friends that's what it kind of looks like after I brighten. And then I'm gonna go ahead and use my brightening powder, my fixing powder um, by CYO. Let's use the same wet sponge. I'm gonna go ahead and pack it on right into the sides of the nose. I feel like this lighting does not do my makeup justice, but until I get my new setup, thank you guys so much for watching. I really love doing makeup. It's super therapeutic for me. And I just really want to share my knowledge on how to do makeup. Even if I'm not the best, I just really feel like I could help people. So I'm going to also add a little to the center of my forehead because we don't want that to be all, you know, glowy for now. I'm going for more of a matte look today. And then I'm going to be using my City Color um, Contour Palette. Nice little pointed brush. It's really soft. So it's great for blending. Now what I do is I have these little divots in my nose right here. So I like to always add a little to my divots. So let's go ahead and blend that in. And then I will just slowly start from here where I started contouring right here, my eyes. I'm gonna go over here. I'm going to gently bring that around like that. So that's what the nose contour looks like. And I know that happened and it looks horrible. But let me just show you how to fix that in case that ever happens to you. So using the same brush, I'm going to go ahead and make sure that there's no excess on it. And I am going to, starting from here, I'm going to go ahead and blend it outward into my eyebrow area. See how much softer that looks? And you can even kind of slowly shade it in like that. Just make sure you really blend it. Same with this, you can kind of go in circular motions. So you're basically contouring your eyes at this point as you're contouring your nose, if that makes sense. You guys can kind of see how that is starting to look, how it, when you blend it up like that. 
I'm just going to continue blending, blending, blending. I feel like there's a little bit too much here. So I'm going to do is I'm going to go back in with this, my beauty blender. And I'm not even going to use anything, but I'm just going to kind of, because I know I have a little bit of excess concealer and powder on here. I'm going to go ahead and try to slowly blend out that. And boom, that already looks so much better. Just remember, if you make a huge mistake on your face, it's just starting completely over. Just be patient and it should all work out, you know? It's your face, so you can definitely work with what you have and make yourself beautiful no matter what. So it's all about having a lot of patience and practice. I'm gonna use that same contour palette and I'm gonna be using a mixture of both. I know they're very different colors, so be careful when you're doing that. And I'm going to be using just a small fluffy brush, slowly adding color and blending. I like to blend in circular motions so that it really is blended. Okay, so as you can see, this is with no contour or bronzer. This is with contour and bronzer. And don't worry, I'm going to blend this all out. Just keep on blending. I like to go right here. Really elongate that. I like to go under my chin too. And I'll even go all the way down my neck just to make sure that that color is, you know, distributed evenly. There's no harsh lines. Worst thing you want is like that. And then there's like a line. Um, so really just blend it all out. And another thing is a lot of people um, might be wondering why I'm so tan and then my face is like super white. Um, I go tanning. I have been going tanning for a long time. I've been addicted to tanning. I kind of took a, I took about a year off and I always give myself like a year break um, because I don't want sun, you know, skin cancer or anything. And I never, ever, ever tan my face because I don't want wrinkles. I already have a million trillion freckles and I just already like, I just don't want to add to that because I love how they look right now. So I, uh, <laughs> We'll have a super pale face, we'll have a super tan body. And I know that is like the weirdest thing ever, but it works for me because I'd rather do that than have, you know, leathery face skin and I'll take a leathery arm any day. <laughs> so next is blush. We're using the Laura Geller from New York blush. I love this. It's such a pretty marble blush. And I'm just gonna be using a circular little brush. I'm going to smile and I just do it right here on my dimple area or on my cheek area. And I like this blush because it's really shimmery. So sometimes I won't even wear a highlighter because I don't know if you guys can see. I am going to use this Bare Skin Minerals uh, Perfecting View. And this is what it looks like. It is in the color light to medium and it comes with this cute little thing. And I like to really just go over everything. And it adds a nice, I don't know why I did that. It adds a nice perfecting veal, <laughs> duh, hence the name. And it really mats everything down. So I won't do it right here where my, you know, blush is, but I'll go everywhere around it just to really kind of blend everything together. Next step is going to be my highlighter. So I'm going to be using my favorite Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I'm going to be using um, this Becca and Jaclyn Hill collab. Um, I'm obsessed with this highlighter. I've been using it for years, but it's beautiful. I'm going to be using um, this champagne -y color, this gold champagne color. I'm just going to go ahead and add a little to my nose, to the tip. I like to add a little to the center. And then, of course, right here. And look at that. This is like my favorite highlighter in the entire universe. Add a little bit over my cupid's bow and I'll even add a little up here underneath my brow. So for my brows, I'm gonna be using this angled brush. It's from Morphe. I'm gonna be using only one product for my brows today. I'm gonna use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Powder in Ebony. And it comes like this. I have literally had this for years and it just will not, like I can still keep using it. I'm not gonna waste product because I don't believe in wasting product. I'm like one of those people. If it's still working for me, then why get rid of it? 
I like to start at the beginning and really just build into my natural line. And then I like to go all the way out like that. So they're looking pretty similar considering my eyebrows do not ever look the same. I'm using the lighter shade and I'm gonna go in right here. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kinda go like do this motion because I'm really liking the thin eyebrow look right now. I change my eyebrows literally every month. Like I go through eyebrow phases, it's really weird. I'm gonna use the angle like this and I'm gonna go up and create this arch. And then, oh, I kinda went a little too high there. So I'm just gonna try to rub that off. And you know what? Sometimes when, when that happens, you're just gonna have to go for it. Nothing can be perfect. And you just kinda keep filling it in, creating that, you know, nice line. So that's what my eyebrows gonna look today. <laughs> I just go with the flow when it comes to my eyebrows. There's no rules when it comes to my brows. So this one's a lot thinner, so I'm gonna fill it out so it looks like that one. I'm gonna use that lighter shade to kinda go up. And they don't really look that much alike, but hey, they're not supposed to be twins. They're supposed to be sisters or distant cousins. I don't know. But anyways, last step is I'm going to take this big fluffy brush and wipe off all that stuff that I was baking. Yes, it seems like an hour ago. So I'm just going to wipe it all off. And then I don't know what color lipstick I'm going to go for. So I'm just grabbing the nearest one. I'm going to be using this Kat Von D lipstick, um, liquid lipstick in Mother. It's like a bright matte pink. I don't really even know if I like this color, um, to be honest, but it's the closest one that I have. So we're going with it. Then I always get lipstick on my piercings, so I always have to like get that off there before it dries. All right, guys, so that is my everyday kind of go-to natural look. If I'm, you know, just running errands or running about doing my thing. Uh, sometimes if I'm going out, I'll go ahead and add some mascara down here. But today, all I'm doing is cooking my boyfriend dinner and going to do yoga and then going to the gym and taking my dog for a walk. So I hope you guys enjoyed my video. I hope that, you know, some of these tips helped you guys. I can't wait to, you know, continue sharing more of my makeup looks with you guys. I absolutely love makeup and I hope that you guys had just as much fun as I did doing this look today. So thank you guys so much for watching and have a beautiful, magical day. Bye.